I'm Alex Bologna, team leader for Holy Tree Solar Innovation Team. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use recycled rainwater to solar irrigate your garden. Let's take a look. Step one starts with buying your barrel. Barrel can be any size. We used a 55 gallon drum and we started to use our school's rainwater system. Now, rainwater comes down from the drain, goes into a flexible drain system. Make sure it's flexible, otherwise you'll be be trying to arrange your barrel with your drainage system. Now make sure that you also add a filter of some sort coming straight from the roof into your barrel otherwise you'll be having leaves and animals inside of your barrel. Step is exiting water from your barrel. You use a hole saw and you insert it into the barrel and at first you want something that has a lot of high pressure coming out of the barrel and at first it was going to be a, uh, a hose nozzle, but we ended up using a ball valve, which increases the pressure and uh, capacity of the water uh, a lot. And make sure that your barrel's up on a platform so it can be gravity fed to where you want it to go. The next step is to try to get your piping underground far enough so that the gravity pressure in your water is compatible with its destination. Now we dug it 18 inches below the ground and we used two barrels. So where they meet, is right below my feet. The water was coming out four inches uh, just from gravity pressure. And then ours goes straight to the pump. Next step is to build a compatible frame with your solar panels. What we've done is we've built it so that it can tilt into where the sun's going. Using a 45 degree angle on the right side and almost an 85 degree angle on the left side, we've been able to tilt it and capture the sun whichever way it's going. Then you have to pick a pump that's going to be able to power your soaker hoses or any other materials you want to water your garden with. What we ended up using was a marine pump. Now the advantage of this was not only to weather the elements but also durable and it was actually very cheap. What we ended up using was a 12 volt DC pump. Uh, goes straight from where we told you the PVC was coming from and then it'll go straight to our then open faucets in two different directions. So when you turn this on, it goes at one gallon per minute. You can hear it. Now we ended up using the PVC pipe in two different directions for the same reasons using soaker hoses. Now be careful, using two different directions means that only one side will have the correct pressure. So using one side at a time was our advantage. So with the water pressure more than ample to power the pump, the pump has no other output than to push the water out and come into our soaker hose. So when you turn it on, the water's there and it's more than powerful enough to do whatever else you need. Depending on how many solar panels you have, you can power anything that requires electricity. For our secondary project, we ended up powering a fountain. Using a bilge pump, we've now recycled our water from the roof, going through the rain barrels, irrigating our garden, and now going into our fountain. And with that, we've effectively become part of the green technology revolution. I'd like to thank you for listening to me today, and I hope to see you going green.